Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. We're just going to get started here right on time. Uh, again, this is your Monday morning leadership webinar for all the Pro Fours and above. We're definitely excited to have you all on the line. I'm kind of seeing uh, the different names as they continue to pop in and join the call. Uh, well, I'm excited to, to join into you uh, this call with you guys. Uh, man, February just flew by. We are already in the month of March. Uh, we are ro rocking and rolling, um, and I believe uh, many of you ha have seen just how amazing February was, uh, and I know we may see some new Pro 4s on this call, so welcome, welcome. I'm definitely excited, and I know uh, the speaker that we have for you guys is going to be just as excited and have some nuggets for you to, on this morning. Well, on my end, we wanted to keep it real short. Around here, we are believing and we are already seeing the makings of the best March as a company we've ever had. Uh, so this morning, we wanted to keep it very short, very sweet, very simple from our end and just reiterate some of the announcements from which you received uh, over the weekend and on Friday. Uh, double points March. This is going to be an amazing March. Uh, so for all of you that are out there running uh, for the pace setter uh, and qualifying for Puerto Vallarta, Make sure that you are doubling those points. Getting those rank advancements gives you double points in the whole month of March. Uh, it's definitely March Madness around here, and we are already seeing just five short days into the month uh, that we see some accounts already running hard uh, for this amazing, amazing change that's going to come to you and your team just by getting those pace setters and joining us all out in Mexico in just a few short months. Uh, the other announcement, and really quick, as many of you saw, uh, the site did go down last night. We are back up and rolling, just as promised. Uh, you're able to get your enrollment skin, uh, get those uh, auto ships going, make sure that you're getting the vitality stack on those auto shipments. Uh, as you've now seen that we have officially introduced the, the two pricing structure, which we've, uh, we've been announcing from stage and you've seen the various emails on. So feel free, make sure if there's any questions on those, uh, you're reaching out to your account managers, or our VIP team so we can make sure uh, that you guys don't have anything in the way uh, so you're able to just to run full speed ahead in the month of March. Uh, and really, that is it from a corporate standpoint. We really want to get out of the way and turn it over to this, uh, this man on fire, uh, some of us call him Pitbull himself, uh, of Life Vantage, uh, but Mr. Uh, Mr. Fred Graves, I see he's, he's there. Uh, you're all, can you hear us good, Fred? I'm here. Can you hear me? Uh, we hear you good, man. Uh, good. I'm just going to get out of the way. And really, this man is on fire. Uh, he has been one of the premier leaders around here. And it just seems like every day uh, he's stepped up his game. He's stepping up his leadership. Uh, so we didn't want to get too far into March uh, without allowing for you guys uh, just a few moments to hear from uh, Elite Pro 9, uh, Fred Gray. So, Fred, go ahead and take it away, man. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, we're fired up. All this good stuff going on. I uh I heard your intro. I'm like, I don't know where to start. I'm so fired up. Um, why? Because we've been waiting for a while for all the exciting um, coming together, everybody getting on the same page. Um, but for you guys that don't know, I'm Fred Gray from Tampa, Florida. Been involved with Life Vantage um, eight years, a little over eight years. And it's been life changing. And if for you guys that are on this for the first time as Pro 4, congratulations. You know, first and foremost, congratulations for taking control of your future. And then uh, the second, congratulations for actually doing something with it. You know, it's, it's one thing to go through life wanting change, right? Wanting things to get better. Making a commitment is the first, wow, you've just separated yourself from the masses. But then actually implementing the opportunity, facing the fears. Just want you guys to know every single person that's in this company, doesn't matter what rank they are. Um, if you're on this Zoom for the first time as a Pro 4, Every fear that you have, every challenge that you have, we've all been there. And that's what I love about this company and the community that we've created is we're all here to help each other. So, you know, first and foremost, Stephen, I want to just thank corporate for all the stuff they've been doing for us and, and literally making our job so much easier and giving us goals to go out and achieve and, and goals to go out and strive for. Um, it's been phenomenal. So I, I can tell you for the eight years I've been involved, you know, we've had a, we've had a, a lot of uh, corporate members come and go. Um, some we liked from a relationship standpoint, but when you get to spend time with the corporate management that we have today, we're just at a different level. It, it's one thing to be prepared for growth. Um, 
and talk about how it's going to feel when growth happens. But when you're sitting around with, with individuals that aren't just talking about what it is going to be like, they're determined to make it happen with the field leadership pulling together. Um, you know, being a part of FAB now and being a part of FAB three years ago, uh, it's, it's a total, total different animal. I can tell you guys, in order to, to achieve the top ranks in this industry and in, in this company, this industry as a whole, it's, it takes a person that's going to take pride in what they do, right? You know, a lot of people go through life just shooting arrows at a wall and, and drawing circles wherever the arrow lands. But to achieve the top, you're taking, you're looking at people that really, really take responsibility in this opportunity and they, they treat it like a business and they take pride in what they do. Well, one thing that is dangerous in taking pride in what you do is pride, right? It's a double-edged sword, right? So a lot of successful people take pride in what they do. They want to be the best at what they do. The dangers is becoming prideful and feeling like, hey, I've got this figured out, man. I've, I know what I'm doing. And I think we've all been through stages to where you, in your head, you're like, man, I got this pinned out. We just got to keep yourself in check. And I'm going to just be really blunt and honest with you. Um, <clears throat> why I feel like a lot of things are coming together for the company as a whole is for the first time in a long time, uh, you see the top level leadership looking back and yeah, patting ourselves on the back for what we achieved, but understanding the fact that if we want this company to go to the next level, that to hit that momentum, to really hit that $300 million mark and 400 and 500 up to a billion there, it's not one individual success that's going to do it, right? It doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter how good your system is. What's really powerful is when you can get, create momentum with a lot of people getting in the same groove doing the same things that's what really puts companies in momentum and i'm just so freaking ecstatic that the the top level leadership of this company right now the egos aren't there the pride's not there i mean the last couple of years the 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 prideful leadership that we didn't want at this company they find their way out it, it's it's kind of crazy in this business you know sometimes you, you hear of oh well, this person got someone placed under them or this one got that it doesn't matter the, the trash always finds yourself out when you have a good community and a good culture like we have at Life Vantage. We're real people that are worried about helping people, and that's our concern. I look at people from this company, and what are we all doing here? Every single person that's part of Life Vantage from a leadership standpoint, we all want the same things. We're not talking about Ferraris and Lamborghinis and, and Lear Jets. Yeah, those things are nice, but what our focus is is getting more time with our family. When you sit down with the top level leadership and they're making the type of money that the top levels are making, they're not just talking about the next vacation. They're talking about, oh, did you hear what this product did for so-and-so? Like it, this company brings out the best in people. And I love it. I love being a part of it. So um, I'm just fired up. I'm fired up uh, to, to, to see the level of leadership coming together, um, giving and taking to make the best decisions to make choices for this company. Um, and you're seeing a lot of the, the changes and enhancements come together. I love the fact that corporate, uh, they stand behind what they say they're going to do. They literally are, are, are taking the voice of the field, um, the FAB, the Pro 10s, the elites. They understand what's really, really powerful about this company is corporate, they wouldn't be here without the field. And they know that. And the field... This company wouldn't be here without a strong corporate. So we've got that beautiful marriage. And the reason why I'm talking about this, guys, I'm sure you're like, give me some nuggets. The reason why I'm telling you this is I believe your confidence and posture is everything. And I want you guys to be 100% solid and confident and have that bold posture to know when you go out and talk about this publicly traded company that's going to be changing the way medicine is handled and changing the way that people take care of their health, I want you to know that <laughs> the time and effort you put into this you're going to look back 10 to 15 years and know that the people running this ship is making choices, not just from a selfish standpoint, but for you. And for the lower ranks that may not know us on a personal level, we care about you. And we've been where you're at and we want the best for you. So I'm just going to give you guys some tips. I'm going to talk to uh, every single person, what I really, really love that this company has done. Um, I'm going to tell you what I did wrong, okay? From a leadership standpoint, this is my first go in network marketing, okay? Um, Probably got to $17,000 in volume by myself because I was just a Tasmanian devil, ignorance on fire. I literally used to show people, I used to call people and be like, holy crap, I found it. And they're like, you found what? I'm like, I found what we're all looking for. 
literally a movement and we get to be a part of it. I mean, when you, if, if I can spell out this opportunity for you, it's a position. That's what we have at Life Ends. It's a position. It's a position the first time in all of our lives to have a position and a movement. And when I, when I really break down what that means is we live in a life, we live in a world where changes are happening. And guess what? We don't just have to sit on the side of, of being a consumer. We get to be a part of it financially. So obviously it, it's very exciting. What I love what this company has done because of, of mistakes that like I look back and, and did is, you know, when you hit pro four, you're at a, a position where you're wanting your group to get the next level. It's, it's hard to hit pro five and pro six on your own. You need a team. And that was the big aha moment for me. I'm used to just getting stuff done. And what I love about this industry and the way that our comp plan pays is if you want to create success, you have to be helping your team. Your success depends on their success. Every single thing that you do, you need to look at yourself in the mirror and every single thing that you're doing to grow your business is you better make sure that the people you bring in can do the same thing too. Think about that for a second. Your numbers may be growing, but you need to look at how your numbers are growing and make sure whatever you're doing to grow those numbers, the next person that you're getting in can fall right into the funnel and continue doing what you're doing. That's where the duplicatable process starts. That's where big success is created. And the biggest mistake I made looking back is when I hit that moment of going, oh, I've got to train my team to do what I did. I kind of got out of that phase one. I didn't kind of, I got out of it. I got out of it because I was so focused on my team helping them, develop them, helping do their meetings, do their calls, whatever my team needed, I was there for them. But the biggest mistake I made as a leader is I took my gas off the, my, my foot off the gas, right? So I just stopped doing that one part called the invite. I stopped doing it because I just was so focused on helping my team, which you should be. But now knowing what I, what, looking back, I should have never taken that foot off the gas. I should have never stopped enrolling. You, the most important thing you can do for your team is lead the way. So what I was doing wrong is, yes, I was teaching my team how to invite. I was explaining it, but all I really needed to do was hold their hand and show them, to show them I was still in the trenches from an exposure standpoint. Never left the trenches. So my behavior changed when the developing leadership came into effect. So, you know, you start your business and you're just wide open trying to get your money back, trying to, to you know, create success. Then you start having some team members and you kind of go to this next level of developing your team leadership, pro four, pro five. And then you hit the elite status, right? And one biggest mistake I did is my, my focus went to my pro fours, fives and sixes, right? So I'm a pro seven, I'm working with people, working my butt off, life bandages my life, but, I wasn't doing phase one. I was developing the, the next level of leadership, trying to pull them up, right? And then you see when you know you hit pro or the higher pranks, pro nine, pro ten. What I did wrong um, is I was talking to my 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 leaders, right? So I, I had created this pecking order. There's no freaking pecking order. Every single person in your team is your team. The most important people in your your team is the people that just signed up yesterday, the last ninety days. And I'm looking back, this is what Fred Graves made a huge mistake doing, is I did everything I thought I should have been doing, right? I was, I was serving. I was giving all my time to my team. But what Fred should have been doing is just showing the team and enrolling like crazy. I've enrolled 80 distributors on a personal level, which is a, a, a lot considering a lot of the behavior of the Life Advantage company. But start talking to the, the top industry leaders that understand that you never come out of phase one. And those suckers have done five and six and 700. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to talk to those guys and tell them what we've achieved and how many enrollments that we've done. So here's the cool part about life is you learn from your mistakes. I get to look back and go, okay, Fred, I've been involved with this eight years. That was stupid. That was dumb. Don't do that again. And you know what? Don't harp on it. You have the choice of change. Every single one of you guys can hit the reset button today. I don't care what mistakes you guys did last week, last month, last year. Guess what? You can't go back in time. Here's a tool. I've always just kind of went through life. If there's something in your life that you can't control or change, it's not worth you spending time focusing on it. So don't focus on what maybe your volume used to be. Don't focus on what your check used to be. Don't focus and, and you know allow your mistakes to drown you out from your time. Look at it, identify it, and change. So I'm, I'm back in 
from an enrollment standpoint, the last 90 days, we put six personal just uh, platinums in. Why? Because I'm not just going to tell my team and show my team how to do it. I got to I got to walk the walk, right? We we say in network marketing, talk is cheap. I don't hear what you say. I watch what you do. Here's what I love what this companies did. They just made it easier for the new guy. They made it easier for that person that goes, man, how do I balance and you know how do I balance developing leadership and teaching my team? How do you do it? Everyone focuses on the same thing. So I don't really care what rank you are. I don't care if you're a Pro 10 or a Pro 7 or a Pro 1. I don't care what rank you are, Life Vantage. If you guys want to put this company to momentum, we all focus on the same thing. And the company just made it easier for us. I don't care what rank you are. Everyone needs to be talking and focusing on Paysetter. Why? Because that is a, that is a, it's a, a, a focus that people can comprehend. It's not too in-depth. It's not going to stop you from developing leadership. You top ranks, you need to be developing leadership and pulling them up. But if we're all talking about pace at a program and getting people to the foundation rank, A, it's attainable for the brain new person. If it's attainable for the brain new person, it doesn't matter what rank. Everybody feels like they're a part of this together. And I'm going to tell you right now, how you create momentum, you don't have to have the flashiest boat. You can have a boat with holes. But if everybody jumps in that boat and rows their butt off, the, whole, the boat with holes is going to win. So my point of is we, we, you know, we sit back as leaders like, oh, we need a video. We need a system. We need, no, 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 no. You just need to make your mind up that this opportunity is going to go with or without you. What I'm really, really excited about right now is this company life vantage. I personally feel the one thing that we've lacked the last four or five years is the fear of loss. I think when we got involved eight years ago, we had this mindset like, holy crap. The world's going to find out that you can activate the body rather than supplement the body. And that is a true statement. And at, at eight years ago, I, would, I, I looked at this. I'm going, oh, my God. Like, when, when the world finds out, like, it's game over. Like, when, like, when the world finds out that you don't need a pager and a, and a, you don't need a pager and a cell phone, right? Because I know every single person here, when the cell phone comes out, you still kept your pager, right? Because you were used to it. But eventually, you realize your pager was not needed anymore, that the cell phone did it all. There's going to be a day soon that the world goes, holy crap. You mean to tell me I can just turn my body back on and make my body work to the full potential? And when that click, when that shift happens, it's game over. And you can't go back in life and go, damn, I should have done a little bit more. I, I should have just got out of bed when I was tired. You know, we, we have that choice every single morning. You, you, you wake up in the morning, you're like, damn, I didn't sleep last night. Honestly, guys, I didn't sleep last night. I got pillow issues, and I can't find a freaking pillow that doesn't hurt my neck. So I go buy two stupid pillows yesterday, and guess what? I'm up all night, so I'm, like, tired right now. But you know what? I made a commitment to my family to wake up and do this silly dance party because most people in the world hate Mondays. And you know what? If the masses hate Mondays, i got to figure out how to love Mondays. So make the choice, commit to whatever you need to do, but it really just comes down to a decision. What I love is we're all focusing on the same thing. So here's what I've been doing, okay? When you guys sign up a new distributor, you need to lay out the plan for them. Don't overwhelm them with Pro 7. Don't overwhelm them with Pro 10. Here's how life works. Yes, you need to identify where you want to go. The why is one of the most important things this because you can't expect to go somewhere in life and not know where you're going. That's what the world does. The world just literally goes through life, and if they've had a good week, they justify and go, this was awesome, I'm so good. No, no, if you want to separate yourself to an elite status in life, not just in life vantage, you have to be prepared. You have to know where you're heading. Successful people, they know what they're going to do when they wake up. Think about that. Wow, that just changes everything. The separation of, yeah, I'm going to wake up Monday morning, I'm going to hit life vantage hard. Did you know what you were going to do when you woke up this morning? Successful people know exactly what they're going to do because they have their life planned out. If you have big goals, if you have the goals of financial freedom, how are you going to get there? You, you can't expect to just wake up and I, I'm in life vantage. Yes, you're a part of a movement, but you better go and own your stake. You better grab that paddle and paddle your butt off. Here's what I will tell people every single day. I would look at this and I go, okay, did I do every single thing I could have done today to get close to where I want to be? Self-accountability is huge in life. 
And in this type of business, it's even worse because majority of the people in this business, they've never had to do that. They were told what time they'd show up for work. They were told what time to eat lunch. Grown men were told what time they had to go to lunch. That is silly to me. So when you look at now this opportunity, yes, people have made a choice of change. Hold their hand and draw it out for them, A, B, C. Remember in kindergarten, the teacher said, hey, guys, stand up and follow that person. They don't explain and draw you a map how to get to the lunchroom. You stand up and you follow each other. That's what life's about. So you need to know where you're going. Follow people that are heading the path that you want to be and keep yourself accountable. Do the things you say you're going to do. The pay setter program puts more money in people's pocket. We know the statistics. If we can get your distributors, A, a paycheck, they stay here 70% longer. Get them their money back. They're not going to go anywhere. It's a very simple process. You come in. We expose this business. We expose this to 60 people your first 30 days. Why? Because we know the numbers work, okay? There's no pitch. We want you to be excited about why you're doing this. If you draw this picture, if I can, I can paint a picture and put you in it, a financial freedom, what your life looks like, it's exciting. And then when you understand that this is a vehicle that's going to create a life, whatever life you want to live, it's exciting. Now you can just pick the phone up and share with people that you found a way. It's very, it's that simple. People going through life, I mean, look at, look at Facebook. It's negative crap. Just change the, your, your, what your conversation is on Facebook about being excited about the future. That's a change. No one's excited about the future. They're stressed out. They're, they're changing days a week to hump day. No freaking hump day. It's Wednesday. You got seven days a week to live life. So my point of it is focus on the small stuff, get that brain distributor the money back as soon as possible, and just keep doing the process. When you enroll a distributor, hands on. Don't get this mindset of, I'm a pro four, I'm a pro six, I'm too good to talk to your brain. Listen, you want this thing to go into momentum, every single rank, I'm gonna tell you what I've, I've done my whole business, is you can go in your back office and you can look at all your new enrollments. Every new enrollment for the month, is it time consuming? Hell yeah, it's time consuming. But this is your life. You want more time back. You, you, you can't expect to wake up and have all the time in the world. It takes time to gain time, okay? So go in your back office and look at the brand new enrollments and pick the phone up and call them. Call them and welcome them to your team. Just let them know we've got your back. You, have, you know how powerful that is? They've never had that their whole life. You guys, people go to work and they're just fighting to get through. And now they've, they've stepped out on a limb. They've faced their fears because they wanted more. They they've, they've, are now a part of something that is icky because they've never done it before. They have all these fears, and the fear of rejection, the fear of failure. I don't know what my friends are going to think. And you know what? You pick up the phone and go, hey, I just want to welcome the team. Here's my cell phone number. I'm here to help. Hey, do you got a couple minutes to chat? Great. Well, just let me know. I've been in this thing for eight years. So every ups, obstacle, every ups and downs you've been through, I've been through it. I want you to use me as your backbone. I want you to understand that I'm your partner, okay? You're not in this on your own. You don't work for me, so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I'm an, I'm an aide, okay? And so here's my phone number. Let me know what to do. Build that relationship. Do it with every single person on the team. Communication is a winner. And think about this. Think about if that brain distributor got four or five calls from their upline. How awesome is that? How do you think that'll boost their confidence? How do you think their, their levels of, man, maybe this will work because I've got people wanting to help me? Dude, it's, so it's awesome. So know who's in your group. Stay into your group, finding out what's going on. Help be available, man. Do your calls. If you, it, It's so crazy. I look back at some of the stupid stuff I did because I didn't know better. When I was developing leadership, Mr. Fred Graves didn't know what the heck I was doing. You know, you get these mass texts. I need a three-way. Oh, Mr. Fred Graves didn't know what he's doing, would sit back and go, no, that guy needs to step up. I'm just going to sit here. I'll do the call. I'm going to do the call, but I'm going to wait and see who steps up first. Screw that. Be the guy that's immediately going, I got you. You know what? Here's how I develop leadership now. If I'm on a group thread with a whole bunch of people on my team, I want them to see me jumping at it. I want them to know that I'm hungry. That's how you lead a team. So be there. Be into your groups. Be available. Create massive success. Keep track of the numbers. The company's going to have a, a, the tracker coming up. They've been, we've got so much enhancements to the company. 
our corporate staff, I don't under, I don't think you guys understand the hours that we put in. We're on these Facebook, there are these WhatsApp threads nonstop. Um, why? Making choices, making this company better. We all are excited about where we're at. We all want to move. And I'll tell you this, for the people that have been in, the, the people that have been in for eight, five, six, seven years that you may have think, oh, you know, I've talked to my database. We have some distributors that maybe they're not involved. Pick up the phone. I'm telling you right now, here's what I've been doing, okay? Last month, I've got seven old distributors auto ship back on. Think about that for a second. Why? Because Fred took time out of his day to call them. No one calls anybody anymore. Everybody sits behind their phone. Everybody sits behind Facebook. We literally, the world thinks you just build a relationship behind, uh, behind technology. Blow their mind and pick the phone up. And here's the deal. I'm, I'm, if I'm calling John, I'm going, hey, John, you got a minute? I was just calling, checking in with you, man. I was thinking about you. I have some exciting stuff going on. I literally just put words in his mouth. Why? Because I know. Here's what I know. Every single person in this world, if they could go back and invest in Facebook, they would. I don't care what people say. I don't have time. I don't have money. Bull crap. If they could invest in Facebook, knowing what they know now, they would. So I know if people understood what I know about being a part of the biggest medical breakthrough in ever in history, if they understood how big that was from really owning their time back. The problem is a lot of people, they've never tasted money. The problem is people never tasted time. So the problem is we got to hold their hand until they get there right? They want it. That's why they're here. So if I call a distributor I haven't talked in a while, I'm just going to say, hey, John, look, man, I know you want more out of life. You said yes to this. I know you know what we have our hands on. I know you know the products are insane. I also know, dude, life's freaking crazy. I also know life is going to keep throwing punches at you. And I just want to reach out and let you know, you made a choice for change a while back. Life happens. It's happened to me. I just want you to bring you up to speed. Holy crap. What you were excited about three years ago, Life Vantage, well, I'm just going to tell you, it's way bigger than I could ever dream of. Like, we, we're here, uh, the face of Life Vantage is totally different. I mean, do me a favor, just go to lifevantage.com and just look. It's, it's insane how far this company has come. And I'm going to tell you what we've been doing for the last couple of years has been, we've been preparing for this. We have been preparing for this massive run and it's here. And because you said yes a couple years ago and I know you want more, I just don't want you to miss out because it sucks to go through life wishing that you had an opportunity. You have the opportunity. And I just want you to know I'm here for you. You know, there's a, a vitality stack that you probably don't know about. And I just bring them up to speed where we're at today. Hey dude, I, I, again, I don't know your situation. I don't know if you're interested in re-engaging, but you know what? I'd love to have a coffee with you. I'd love to catch you up. You know what? Here's what I'm finding, guys. Did you guys know 25% of auto ships, 25% of auto ships get declined every month because of credit card, because of address change? You're going to be blown away at how many people go, dang, I, I, yeah, I love, I love Life Air. I love the products. You know what? I've been needing to order this stuff. I just haven't got around to it. So guys, we get so frustrated because people don't show up to our meetings or they stand us up or they quit their auto ship. Guys, we have to go back to reality and understand this life, the world that we live in, man, it's throwing blows nonstop. It's nonstop. So here's the deal. You're going to be blown away how many people go, oh, I didn't realize I wasn't getting an auto ship. Yeah, when you get your butt back on, let's do it. So guys, it's exciting. Obviously, this company has made a lot of changes, even from how we expose the business. Social media is exploding. We, we see the, the groups happening. Here's some advice for some of the old dogs, okay? For some of the old dogs that just know ABC video, three-way call, one-on-one, -on -one, home meeting, let me tell you something. Don't change. That'll never stop. The best way to build your business and build a relationship is that. You take advantage of social media and you need to grow. Old dog. Get up with the times. You have to keep up with changing times. And if you have to be educating yourself on social media, I just want to give you a heads up. A lot of times of what I've seen in this, in this business is this. People get a new approach or they hear a new leader or they hear how Tyler Daniels is doing business or they hear how Michelle Poe's doing it or Tyler Daniels. And there's a little bit of difference. 
the disconnect and what I want you guys leaders to understand is the brand new person they don't know they're they're most of them are looking for the path of least resistance we've got to be very very clear that exposure is the name of the game exposure now you have different tools and different options to get that exposure done but the the vehicle of a three-way call, a launch call, a Facebook launch, a home meeting, social media groups, ATM method, those are, those, are, those are just vehicles, okay? So what I'm wanting you old dogs to know is don't get stressed out because something here is new. Embrace the change, understand it. Don't stop doing what you've been doing for seven years. And if you're a leader that has decided to really dive in social media, just realize if your team has it, don't leave them behind. I've noticed a couple of leaders that literally have got to a substantial rate doing the three-way calls and home meetings and all that kneecap to kneecap stuff, but they've decided to go social media and it's freaking their team out. So just remember what's gotten you to where you're at, okay? If you want to go to the next level, just do what you did to get to where you're at, okay? Social media is powerful. Use it. But don't think you don't have to do the home meetings and the one-on-ones. We do it all. We're a hybrid, okay? And yes, it takes some time to get comfortable with it. But again, just remember, on the other side of every fear is why you said you wanted to do this. You said you wanted more. You did it. Not me. You signed up. Every single one of you said you wanted more. More money, more time. And guess what? Money's worthless if you don't have time. That's why we love financial freedom. So guys, take ownership in what we have. Focus on the pace setter program. Guess what? If you focus on the pace setter program, if you just focus on getting every single distributor to Pro 1, get them to Pro 2, get all your Pro 1s, Pro 2s to Pro 3s, guess what's going to happen? Your group's going to grow. The stability of your group is going to be rock freaking solid. And guess what? By default, we're going to be drinking margaritas and, and, and swimming in the pool. Listen, Mexico. Guess how you get there? Paysetter. The, the, I'm telling you, the company, they know what the heck they're doing. They're not just throwing incentives out there to create revenue. They're connecting the dots. It makes sense right now. Focus on Paysetter, and you're going to be an incentive winner and be in Mexico. So, guys, I've been rambling for 35 minutes. Hopefully, something I said made sense. I don't know. I, I don't understand half the stuff I say. I make up words, whatever. Just roll with it. Be passionate. Know you're in control of your future. We love you guys. Life Vantage. Holy crap. I'm so stoked to see where we're at. I'm so proud of the, the new faces that we have at this company rocking and rolling. I love the new energy that they have brought back to the company. I love and I want to appreciate the leaders that have been here for five and six and seven years because you guys have built this foundation that this multi-billion dollar company is going to be able to grow. Listen, I don't care how fast you grow a company. If you don't have a foundation to hold it, you ain't got nothing. I mean, we see it all the time in this industry. Industry companies, oh, this company's explode. Oh, this company's grown. Well, they didn't take the time to build a foundation, okay? So guess what? What really builds an awesome company is the loyal leadership that this company has. Look back at all the crap that a lot of the leadership has dealt with, with stupid mistakes from other egotistic leaders or dumb corporate members making bad choices. But the leadership that you have in this company has so much faith and belief and they understand opportunity when they see it and they understand we've got our hands on, they stayed loyal. So we love you loyal distributors. We love our new blood that has come to this company that look at life and go, holy crap, We've never seen anything like it. Guess what? The loyal leadership, the new blood, we merge together. We uplift you. You uplift us. And we have a multi-billion dollar company. So, guys, I'm going to quit rambling. I got to get on the phone. I got to get to work. You guys are holding me up. I got some freaking pace setters to go get. So, Steven, back at you, brother. And get your butts to Anaheim. Don't talk about it. You know the dates. Here's the problem. Don't I'll try to figure it out. Let me check prices. No, 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 no. You said you wanted more time. You have an opportunity to create whatever life you want to live. Book your freaking flights and figure out how to get there. We'll see you later. Man, I'm not really going to touch that. That I think 
Fred has said it all and really a true example of a, a true pace setter. So with that, we are five days into March. Let's get running. Let's get doubling of those rank advancement points, and we'll see you all in the next one.